this a couple times and we had a firm that approached the mayor about coming in and taking a preliminary look at facilities, street lights and mechanical systems and this, this room is a prime example. You know, the system we have here, it's either on or it's off. And when it's off, it's off, and it's on, it's on. And these folks have uh, finished a preliminary look at our buildings, and they just want to give you a very brief report on, on what they found, and uh, they'll hand you some information that you'll take with you. And then at the next meeting, um, we'll have another discussion about whether you want to go forward. And generally, the concept is, is that there's a there's a state law that was passed in just about every state in the in the in the, in the country now, including Alabama, that allows you to go about retrofitting facilities where you can save energy, and you take the savings and the energy savings to to do the work. So in other words, you, there's you don't have to come up with money to uh, out of your budget to, to do the work. You're going to use money that you're going to be spending already. You know if you. If your utility bill is a million dollars a year for utilities and you can ret retrofit and save that amount of money or a portion thereof, you take the savings of the, the money that's already in your budget, you use that to, to finance retrofit. And, and, and if you think about this building and the warehouse down where public works and the utilities are, the thing I like about it, and I've been in one of, involved in one of these projects before in, a, in, a, in my hometown, I worked there for a number of years, Instead of piece milling, retrofitting of, of uh, air conditioning units and light fixtures, you can go in and do a package deal where you go in and do it all at once. And there again, you take the savings, and they guarantee the savings. You take the savings to pay for the retrofit. As uh, Greg was mentioning, uh, what we want to talk about is uh, the opportunity for the city of Fairhope to become more energy efficient. Uh, and using a program uh, that's been around in Alabama for almost 20 years uh, that allows for the city to implement these uh, uh, projects without any capital dollars. Uh, essentially, the money is, pro is provided through a lease program, and uh, as the provider of the program, uh, the company has to guarantee that the savings that are realized on an annual basis are more than what the payment would be for the lease for the uh, actual projects themselves.